students, hello viewers, and welcome to our regular TV series. My name is Ronaldo Emmanuel. I'll be taking on English, and today's topic is summary writing. What is summary writing? Summary writing is precise writing. It involves separating the wheat from the chaff. It's, that means separating sense from nonsense, or separating relevance from irrelevance. In summary writing, we need certain skills that makes us good summary writers. One, we need the ability to paraphrase. Two, we need skills in synonym. We need skills in synonym. Now, those two skills help us to be able to be a very good summary writer. So in an exam, for example, the WIAC exam or the GC exam, you have questions that take this format. In six sentences, one for each, state the uses of dogs to man. If a question comes in that format, then our answer will go this way. The uses of dogs to man are, the reason why you say the use of dogs to man are, is that you have a preamble. The uses of dogs to man are, when you do this, because the question says in six sentences, one for each, state the uses of dogs to man. Your answer or your response will start in this format. The uses of dogs to man are, when you have done this, it means that one of the first rules of summary writing is to start with a preamble. So the first rule is actually start with a preamble. Now the reason for this preamble is so that you don't begin to repeat the use of Dr. Man R1, the use of Dr. Man 2, the use of Dr. Man 3. Once you have the preamble, the next thing you do is to list the use of dogs to man based on what is written on that passage. So the second skill, the second, re the second rule will be, this, this is the first rule, start with the preamble. The second is that at the end of the preamble, you add a, semi, a, a column. Not a semicolon, but a column. What I mean is that when you say the uses of dogs to man are, you need to put the column at the end of that statement. Now, what this column means is that whatever you are going to be listing is going to be written in singular form. What it means that it will not be a statement, a long sentence, it will be a very brief one. Because the answer will be read from this point to whatever you have written. So if, for example, one of the use of dogs to man is as security, then your answer will now be one, this way, as security. Now, it means the second rule is that end the statement with a column. Now, I said a colon, not a semicolon. If you per chance do this in the exam, the examiner will circle it as minus half. So what you need to do is that you put a colon and not a semicolon. The next thing you do is that at the end of every statement you write, put a full stop, which means rule three is end your statement with a full stop. The reason why your statement ends with a full stop is to show that that is the end of that summary answer for that line. You go to the next one. The fourth one, you must number your work in Roman figure, which means summary answers are numbered one, two, three, four. The core subject, solution to mathematics and English language, simplest approach to solving and understanding mathematics and English language.